It is Wednesday. It's the 24th of July. I'm Monita Rajpal. This is CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. Our top stories today. Four people have died, including two children, after their boat capsized off the coast of Indonesia. At least 156 others survived in waters southwest of the island of Java. Indonesian rescuers are searching the area, but it's not clear how many people were on the boat. It was not registered and had no passenger list. Officials believe the passengers were on their way to Australian waters near Christmas Island, possibly to seek asylum. Just last. Well, let's get more on this story. We're joined now by Tom Connell. He's a political reporter for Sky News Australia. Tom, thank you very much uh, for being with us. As we heard there from, uh, uh, from the Prime Minister, it, it, the reality is it seems as though that message that he's sending isn't being listened to or isn't being heard. And I guess a lot of people are wondering how realistic is this controversial policy? Yeah, Manita, so far this is not acting as a deterrent. Now, you would have... Thank you so much for that. Tom Connell there from Sky News Australia in Canberra. Thank you for your time. The number of asylum applications, just adding on to what Tom has been saying, uh, by people getting to Australia, by what are called irregular maritime arrivals, has risen dramatically over the past 10 years. The Refugee Council of Australia says it has risen from just uh, 60 uh, around 10 years ago to more than 7,000 in the run-up to 2012, and applications are coming from. The Department of Immigration and Citizenship says last year the bulk were from Afghanistan, Iran, and Sri Lanka. The head of the military has called for protests to take place on Friday in Egypt. In a televised speech, General Abdel Fattah al-Sisi asked Egyptians to give the army the referendum to take firm action against violence and terrorism. It comes after a bomb exploded near a police station in the city of Mansoura. Rival protesters have been fighting each other and police for days. At least nine people died in the violence on Tuesday. Reza Saya is up in the Egyptian capital in Cairo to join us now with the latest on that. Reza. Monita, these are pretty dramatic statements by the head of the armed forces here in Egypt, uh, General Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. It's not clear what the implications Reza, of this... Reza, thank you for that. Reza Saya there live for us from Cairo. You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. Stay with us. We'll be right back with much more. You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. I'm Monita Rajpal. Open arms and closed streets. Catholics in Brazil are celebrating a visit by Pope Francis. The pontiff has been out on the streets as he joins them for a week-long youth festival in Rio de Janeiro. A judge in Britain has ruled that a man accused of hiring hitmen to murder his wife can be extradited to South Africa to face trial. Shireen Diwani and his wife Annie were on honeymoon near Cape Town in 2010 when armed men stopped their car abducting Annie. She was later found shot dead. Matthew Chance joins us now from Westminster Magistrates Court with more on this decision. Matthew. Anita, thanks very much. That's right. The, uh, the chief magistrate here at Westminster Magistrates Some Court. Some of the other stories we're following for you here at uh, CNN News Center. Anthony Weiner is back in the hot seat with the publication of more lewd messages and pictures attributed to him. The latest texts and photos have come to light just as the former U.S. congressman is mounting a campaign to become mayor of New York. A natural gas production platform has exploded in the Gulf of Mexico. Just hours earlier, its crew was taken off the rig as a safety measure. No one is believed to have been injured. The U.S. Coast Guard says the rig is on fire 100 kilometers southwest of Grand Isle, Louisiana. Chinese state media say Beijing is banning the construction of new government offices for five years. It is part of a drive by President Xi Jinping to reduce wasteful spending and extravagance. David McKenzie has more now from the Capitol. The moves to ban the construction and restoration of any government building in China for five years can be seen as part of President Xi Jinping's push towards austerity and anti-corruption. Japanese police are on the hunt for a man suspected of killing five people and burning their houses down. The victims, all aged over 70, were found in a remote village said to consist of just 10 households, the suspect. And uh, we want to show you some pictures from North Korea's annual mass games. The propaganda fest features around 100,000 acrobats, dancers and singers all moving precisely in unison. This year's event is designed to mark the 60th anniversary of the armistice that ended the fighting during the Korean War. 
The cleanup continues in western China after a strong earthquake shook the region on Monday. Meteorologist Mari Ramos is at the World Weather Center with new video recorded when the quake hit, Mari. Yeah, this is a pretty dramatic stuff. When you, when you look at it, you kind of uh, see how quickly people have to react when a quake happens. And Goodness. All right, Mari, thank you very much for that. You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong, and you are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are settling into their first full day at home with their new baby. The couple presented their newborn son to the world on Tuesday outside St. Mary's Hospital in London. Followers of the royal family are eager to know what they'll call him, but so far they're not telling. Zane Vergy is at uh, Buckingham Palace, and Zane, we understand that the little baby has a... Is, is, is receiving a very special guest. <laughs> we had a little bit of an unexpected surprise here just a short while ago. See, if you look behind me, there are so many people here at Buckingham Palace, and this is around the time that tourists and other people come and see the changing of the guard. It's around 11.30. Local... All right, I'm sure she's very excited about that. All right, Zane, thank you very much for that. <laughs> Corgis and are ready. Max. Yeah. yeah, and of course, Max at Kensington Palace, too. You are watching CNN uh, News Center. I'm Monita Rajpal, live at CNN Hong Kong. Thank you for joining us. We'll update you the news headlines in just a few minutes.